Hello students, welcome to NJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. Here myself, Mr. Jaswal Kishan, Civil Engineering Department. And we are learning all about structural analysis. So let's start our session. Now in today's session, we will be considering uh, energy principles and approximate method. This is a new session. So in which we will start first energy principles and then we will be later starting of approximate method. Now in energy principle, we are using Castiglianos principle. So for that, we will be proceeding towards theories and its concepts. Let's start. Now here, Castiglianos principle, in which we are taking Castiglianos first principle. What is Castiglianos first principle? It states that if there is any elastic system, if an elastic body or a system in equilibrium under the action of set of forces, means if there is an elastic body or a medium in which a set of forces like as W1, W2, W3, these are loads up to Wn. So these sets of forces applied on that body, there will be some creation of deflection. So that deflection will be like delta 1, delta 2, delta 3 up to delta n. So it says that action of set of forces like W, its corresponding displacement will be delta. Similarly, if a set of moment like as M1, M2, M3, if a moment applied to a body, then there will be generation of slope. So say it as, as corresponding risk uh, rotations like as phi1, phi2, phi3 up to phi n. So what it says was that if there is a set of load, there will be some sets of reflection and if there is a some sets of moment, there will be some sets of its responding, corresponding rotations. So the partial derivatives of the total strain energy means the total strain energy of the body if you do the partial derivative with any one of the forces like forces or moments like mathematically it will give del u by del w1 to respect of delta 1 delta 1 is nothing but deflection and we have done for w1 is nothing but my force load and if you do it with del u by del m1 it will give me phi what it says that the partial derivative of total strain energy with any set of force or any set of moment will give del u by del w1 is delta 1 load will give me deflection and moment will give me rotation now let us consider as a proof that consider an elastic body which is subjected to loads like this is w1 w2 w3 this is an elastic body on which the sets of loads are occurring and these are my support like this is an A support is an hinge or simple support and B support is a roller support. Now W1, W3 whatever the kind of load are applied independently. So assuming Hooke's law is valid, the displacement of the loading will be linear function. Now before proceeding, we are assuming that a Hooke's law is valid means if a load is applied there will be deformation will be also linear if load is applied gradually the deformation will also increase in a gradual manner so assuming hook law as a valid displacement of loading will be linear of load so our total strain energy u is given by u is a strain energy is given by half of w1 into delta 1 plus w2 into delta 2 plus w3 into delta 3 plus s so on so our total strain energy will be given by like this now Look, if our W1 increases by D, what it says if W1 increase means our load number 1 increase out to a certain amount like as DW1. So our delta will also likely to be increased. So increasing ultimately the strain energy. Let me repeat. If W1 increase, then delta increase. And if delta increase, ultimately our strain energy will increase. So our new function or equation is given as u plus del u by del w1 into dw what is this dw1 which is an increased load so our strain energy will also try to increase so now assuming by superposition law is applicable and assume the increase in force acting prior to all load means what it says that uh, that sets of forces like w1 w2 w3 and increase in force is dw1 so that dw1 act prior to all loads so the deformation will be negligible because that increases increase in load is very small amount so if it applies first and then set of load so then its deformation due to that negligible force will be negligible and then at the time when both applied 
at the same time so what happens let's see so work done by dw1 is nothing but dw1 into delta 1 this is due to increase in load so our new strain energy will also increase like as equals to u plus dw1 into delta 1 this is my equation number 3 now this is came due to that increase in load so increase in strain energy and we are assuming that it is applied prior to all loads like as to apply assuming superposition law so our new strain energy has been came as u plus dw1 into delta 1 so by comparing this uh, that negligible load strain energy and all sets of load energy we can find delta like this is my equation number 3 that u plus dw1 into delta 1 equals to u plus delta u by delta w1 into dw1 by comparing this two we can find out delta 1 as by cutting down this u and this dw1 we can find out delta 1 is nothing but delta u by delta w1 by this we can find out the amount of deformation occurs in that particular body like similarly to find rotation we have to do del u by del m so by this we can find classic lenos first theorem applicable to beam deformation and rotation so how it can be applicable now let's say the strain energy due to bending u equals to integration limit 0 to l m square upon 2 vi into dx so this is my the strain energy due to bending where m is the function of u with respect to p now u is my strain energy and p is my load to give delta so let's say partial derivative of u with respect to p to give delta as delta equals to 1 upon ei integration of 0 to l into m into del mx upon del p in with respect to dx similarly to do with m we get rotation so in the above equation the delta has been came with respect to p as a load in this equation we got that theta with respect to m like as 1 upon ei integration 0 to l into m and into del mx upon del m into dx so by this with the help of this two equation we can find the rotation theta and deflection delta with the help of this kastig lenos principle so this was our first principle of kastig lenos let's see our next principle is kastig lenos second principle it is way more near to similar with the first principle but in this kastig lenos second theorem it states that if u is the total strain energy stored up in a framework in an equilibrium under external system of forces its magnitude is always a minimum what it says that if u is this particular strain energy stored in a body and then uh, if a set of forces are applied externally then the magnitude of that strain energy will always be minimum so partial derivative with respect to p applied where the deflection is zero then it is also zero what it say whenever the partial derivative with respect to p is applied where the deflection is zero ultimately its effect is also zero this is also known as a least work or minimum work theorem so del u by del p equals to zero so for the member in bending del u by del p equals to zero p is a function of load so del upon del p integration to zero to l m square upon 2 ei into dx so this first equation gives me this means equation number two gives me delta like as one upon ei integration zero to l m multiplied by del m by del p into dx it is very more similar to the previous uh, previous uh, kastig lenos theorem so this is my equation of deflection and this is my equation of moment in which del m comes so likewise we can take help of these two principles to solve the examples